Hey guys, Wellen Customs here, and today we are taking a look at not a new figure, but it's new to me at least. So it's the SH Figure Arts Injustice Gods Among Us. This is Harley Quinn right here. And if you guys watched my other past videos, you know why I got this. Instead of picking up the Suicide Squad version, which is very realistic from the movie, I'd rather get, I'd rather get this one instead, which is more comic book based. Fits in better with my collection, and I think it looks pretty cool, so let's open her up. Alright guys, so here she is out of the box. I have to say, she has a lot of different accessories. Look at this. One, two, three, four pairs of hands. She has a knife hand right here, which is kind of a pinching hand right there, because she comes with a little tiny card. Let's take a look at that really quickly, if I can. Give me one second. I will zoom in on this. This is just so small. It came in a little tiny package, too. You don't lose it. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Joker card. Looks pretty cool. Not bad at all. Pretty detailed as well. Now here's the back right there. And he used this little pinch finger right there to hold it, but it looks like there's a little gap in there, so don't know if it's going to stay in. No, it falls out. Next up, she does come with three different faces. Right here, she has a normal looking face right there. She has an angry face right there. And of course, she has the face on her body right now, which is pretty much the more playful looking face. She has a nice smiley face right there. Kind of evil looking. You know, you kind of you could kind of point her head down a little bit. It looks a lot more conniving as well. Next up, she does have two pistols right here, which are pretty good because they're metal. I like that. They're made out of metal, which is pretty nice. Uh, there is no design on it, there's no joker design, there's no gesture sign, there's no card design on it, which is kind of disappointing because it is Harley Quinn. But, on a good side though, you can actually use this for other figures if you want to, you know, have someone else holding it. And it's pretty nice looking, it's like a big giant revolver, almost like a trigun gun, which is pretty good, Vash and Stampede if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, of course, you have to use the proper hand to hold it with the trigger finger, and you should have a problem there. Alright, so here she is holding the two guns in her hand, and surprisingly, even though they're metal, they're, they still stay pretty good, you know. You would think them being metal, they might weigh down the wrist or something like that, but these are actually ball joints at the wrist, and they're pretty firm. Uh, so you shouldn't have a problem with that at all. You know, if you position it any way you want, it, it will be a little heavy toward that direction, so you just have to position her feet and her legs the right direction, and you won't have a problem at all. It's a pretty sturdy figure, so you shouldn't have a problem, of course. And it looks pretty nice. I think this is a great addition to this figure, these two pistols. And the fact that they're metal, it's a great thing as well. And it just makes the figure look a lot cooler overall. Alright, so next up we do have her mallet that she comes with. And I like it a lot. It's nice and big. It's really nicely designed too. It really suits this specific uh, design of Harley Quinn too. And it's pretty big, but it's light. You know, it's hollow inside, so it won't weigh her down at all. So that's a nice thing. I think the staff itself is probably heavier than the actual mallet, uh, the hammer part. Uh, but overall, I still like it a lot though. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it fits in her hand pretty well when you use the, pro the proper hand for that. Uh, it looks good. Alright, so side by side right here, we have this mallet next to the DC Icons version right here, which is a little bit different in design. Uh, a little bit more classic. This is a little bit more modern, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but they're both pretty cool, you know. Uh, they're both pretty much constructed the same. It's pretty much hollow inside here. A long staff right there, but uh, pretty cool to have the two different options if you want to use that. Now she does actually come with one more weapon right here. It's actually a nice looking knife, a long knife actually. It's on her leg. You can actually take this one out. The other ones around her uh, thigh over here, they are not removable, but they look pretty nice still. Uh, but this one's pretty cool. It has a little bit of a gesture, gesture on the handle right there, which is pretty nice. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There you go. So that's pretty cool. It's nice and thick and big. Um, so if you want to put her, put it in her hand, you're probably better off just using the trigger hands for the gun because that's the biggest open hand. You don't want to use the other one for the mallet because it might be a little bit smaller. And it fits in pretty well, right here, as you can see. Not bad. It's a pretty nice addition to have. I didn't think there would be another weapon right there, but I was surprised by this knife. Alright, so quick size comparison. Here are some DC female characters in my collection right here. All from either different lines or companies. So this is Wonder Woman. Of course, she is the tallest. Uh, these two actually fit in really well together. This is the DC Icons Harley Quinn with the SH Fig Arts. I've said that many times on my channel that DC Icons and SH Fig Arts, fig Arts figures fit in really well together in scale. So as you can see, there's no surprise that they're the same height and pretty much the same size as well. 
And right here we have the Young Justice figure right here. I forgot her name. Horrible. Anyway, so these two together I think look amazing. Uh, you can even pair them together if you want to for changing outfits. So that's pretty cool looking right there. And here's just another look at them side by side together. And I think, you know, it's pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm really happy I got this one opposed to the Suicide Squad version from the movie. I think this looks really nice. I like comic book accurate looking figures more than movie looking movie accurate figures sometimes. Uh, but even the size, surprisingly, they look identical, which is pretty amazing. Even though they're two different companies, um, their proportions are pretty well right there, which is pretty nice. And for another size comparison, here she is of some of the other Marvel female characters, which are a little bit taller, or a little bit bigger, but overall I think they fit in pretty well. I don't think it'd be a big difference in size. You know, some girls could be taller, some could be a little bigger, shorter, so I think it looks pretty good in my opinion. Alright, for another size comparison, here she is of some of the Suicide Squad figures from the DC Multiverse line. And of course, my little abomination right there. Surprisingly, I like this. I like how this looks. I'm always, a, I'm actually a fan of the gangster Joker look. I, I don't think it looks that bad. It looks pretty good to me. Um, so these two actually, look, to me, look pretty good paired side by side together. This thing, I don't know what she is. Actually, let's take her bat. I didn't even think about this. It says pudding on it. Or no, it says good night. And let's put it in her hand. Because this one did not come of a bat. She came of a mallet. It's not bad. Pretty good. I'm going to actually keep it on her. Alright, so quickly going into some detail this figure. Man, it is amazing looking. It looks really nice. Honestly, no flaws on it at all. The, the paintwork on it is perfect. The sculpting is great. Even the hair looks really nice. Uh, going back to the hair over here. Uh, she has two ponytails that actually are articulated and have different movement, which is pretty nice as well. Uh, everything looks great on this figure. You know, she looks so menacing, very evil looking, but playful at the same time, which is kind of weird. Uh, all the different designs on her outfit too. She has spikes over here. Uh, the different straps, the different diamonds from like a card looking uh, design, you know, all of it looks pretty good. The smiley face on her small little tank top there, you know, and you have her thong sticking out there as well. The jacket, the straps, everything on this looks awesome looking. To be honest, one of my favorite uh, SH figure arts figures that I've ever gotten because it's so detailed and there's so much stuff on her that it's pretty good, I have to admit. Very impressive. Even going down to her boots, man. These spikes are pretty, not, you know, they're not sharp, but they do prick you a little bit if you put your hand on it. And you don't realize it, too. Just great detail overall. Even the back right there. Look at that. Alright, so going to articulation, she has a lot of them, so let's go over them. Uh, she has a ball joint and a head, but it doesn't go up that much. It pretty much just stays straight. Uh, it goes down though a little bit, which is pretty good. Of course, it goes left and right. Pivots a little bit as well, so you have that at least. Uh, for the hair, also, there is a hinge at the bun, so that's pretty good too. And at the ponytail, she has a ball joint hinge, so it rotates, it swivels, it turns, so that's pretty nice as well. You can pretty much put her hair any way you want. Like that. I actually like it going down a little bit. Kind of do a, like that, like a ponytail. That's pretty good. Now for her shoulders, she has two joints at the shoulders, a ball socket inside there in the body, and also a hinge at the outside. So she has a lot of movement, a little bit more uh, wiggle room or pivots right there. So that's pretty good too. Pretty standard for SH Figure Arts. Goes all the way around. Just a bicep swivel. Uh, one point at the elbow, but it's really good, really nice. It almost goes past 9 degrees, so that's pretty good there. And at the wrist, she has a ball joint, an actual ball joint, and a socket, so you have unlimited movement right there. Uh, for the body right here, she does have a ball joint up there. A little bit restricted, doesn't go forward that much. Surprisingly, I thought it would be a little bit better. I think it might be the shirt over here, but who knows. Uh, but it goes back a little bit. Uh, it goes left and right, it turns because she doesn't have a waist swivel. Uh, it does pivot down a little bit as well on different angles, so you do have that. It's not, it's pretty good overall. For the hips, she has T-jointed hips right here, and they're pretty decent. They go about 90 degrees. No complaints there at all. Don't, they don't go back that much though. Uh, Split-wise, it's okay. Not the greatest, but it's decent. Uh, no thigh swivel, but it does rotate at the hips right there a little bit left and right, so you do have that at least. Uh, one point at the knee, but it's very good. As you can see right there, way past 90 degree angle. Uh, going to the feet, she has a hinge right there. 
She has a toe joint right here, but it's not the greatest. I think she has a pivot, but it's one of these joints right here, like this ball socket hinge joint. So you kind of have to maneuver it around a little bit. It's not your, it's not your traditional uh, ball joint in there or a pivot, so you, you're going to have to have some fun with that. But overall, the articulation on this is really good. You know, you expect it from SH Fig Arts, and overall, I'm pretty impressed by it. All right, so overall, I'm really happy I got this one over the Suicide Squad version because it's pretty much, you know, she will fit better in my collection. I think I'll like her a lot more, even though the Suicide Squad version looked pretty nice. I think I'll like it for like a day or something, and that'll be it. Uh, this one will go in my collection for a lot longer, and she just looks a lot more interesting, interesting in my opinion. I like the outfit. She looks really conniving, really evil-looking, cute at the same time. You know, you don't know what to think about her. Just plain up psycho-looking. Uh, I like the design as well. She has a nice tattoo back here. You know, her whole outfit is like designed as a card, and they have some diamonds and spades here and everything like that. So it's really cool looking. Uh, but I definitely like it a lot. Even the uh, different design, the spikes all over the place, the different kinds of boots she's wearing. Overall, it looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, like I said before, I think she looks pretty good with this one. Not bad, right? Pretty good pairing right there. Uh, but like I said before, really cool, really nice. You know, you can definitely get her a lot cheaper now. I got it for 30 bucks, opposed to 60, so it's pretty good on Amazon. And uh, just wait a little bit, get a nice sale going. But that's about it, guys. So I know this is a old figure, but it's new to me, and I'm actually really happy I finally got the figure in my collection now. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at awildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.